Hello and welcome back to Sales for Sulk. So far, we have discussed about two types of flows. One was screen flow and another was record triggered flow. And now in this video, we will be discussing about third type of flow that is scheduled triggered flow. So first, let's start by understanding what exactly the scheduled triggered flow is. Scheduled triggered flow is a flow that will get executed at a specific time and repeated at a specific interval. Now let's understand it with the help of an example. So there is a company HP and they want to inform the opportunity owner two days prior of the close date. Let's break it down to understand it in more detail. So there is a company HP and they have a user whose name is John and John has created an opportunity on 8th of July and the close date of this opportunity is 14th of July. So two days prior of that close date will be what? 12th of July. Now what HP wants that the notification should be sent on 12th of July to John about the information of that record that this record will get closed on 14th of July so that John can take actions accordingly. Now let's implement this example practically. So for that we need to go to the Salesforce org and in this we need to find flows and we need to go to the flows. In flows first we need to click on new flow and here we need to choose the scheduled triggered flow. So here we'll be choosing it and create. So whenever you will be creating it, it will be asking you for us uh, for set a schedule. Okay, so in which you need to uh, fill up the start date, start time and the frequency. So start date is the current one, uh, 12th of July and it will be 11 p.m. Okay, now there in the frequency, there are three options once daily and weekly once means it will be only executing on 12th of July and it will not be executing again. Daily means it will be starting from 12th, uh, 12th of July and uh, will be executing on to the daily basis. Weekly means like it will be starting from 12th of July and executing on the weekly basis. So we will be right now in according to the right uh, current situation, we will be choosing the daily one and we will be clicking on done. Okay. Now after that, now we are having a requirement of getting all the opportunities which will be occurring after two days of this current date. So for that, what we need to find, uh, what we need to do, we need to create one resource and that resource will be a kind of a, a variable, not variable, it, it will be the formula. And in this, we will be writing the name, API name of that will be prior or next date. Okay, next date means like Currently, like currently, if it is a 12th of July, then we need to fetch out the opportunities which will be having a closing close date as in 14th of July. So we are uh, creating a variable which is next date and the data type will be of date, insert a resource. So from flow, you can see the global variable, we will be taking out the current date. You can have the current date with the today, uh, the today as in function but we are taking it from flows current date so that we will be sure that today uh, it will be taking current date only and here we'll be adding plus two why plus two like if the current date is 12 then we need to have we need to fetch out the date that is 40 so that's why we are adding two in that so we have created a day uh, we have created the variable now we need to fetch out all the opportunities which is which will be having a close date of 14th okay so we need to add an element and here we need to get all records okay so here will be the get records uh, fetch opp of close date okay we'll be giving this name now for uh, from which object you need to fetch out the record that will be opportunity so we need to do that what kind of records you want we want only those records which will be having a close date which is equals to the next date so we'll be putting close date which will be equals to our next date okay so let's suppose if any of the opportunity is having close date 14 and in next date will be 14 so it will be fetching all those opportunities right so uh, sort opportunity records we do not care if it is sorted or unsorted so you can choose accordingly right how many records to store it can be one opportunities as well and it can be more than one opportunities as well which will be having a close date is in 
14th of July. So I'll be choosing all records. How to store that, uh, how to store record data. So there are three options, automatically store all fields, choose fields and let Salesforce do the rest. And the third option is choose fields and assign variables, okay? So if you'll be choosing first option, then you do not need to do anything. If you'll be choosing second option, then you need to choose the fields what you want. If you are choosing the third option, then uh, you need to first create the collection and in that collection, you need to put the values. I'll be choosing the second option that I'll be choosing the fields and rest Salesforce will be doing. I'll be choosing the owner ID as well. So I'm putting in that collection two uh, fields that is record ID and the owner ID. And that. Okay, so it will be fetching all the records. Now what I want to do for all records, I want to send the notification to the owner. Okay, so for that, I need to put the loop because uh, for all the records, we need to iterate onto that. Okay, so we'll be putting in loop, uh, loop on records. Okay, so I've given this name. Now on which variable you need to put the loop? this will be what opportunities from fetch opportunity of close date okay so whatever we have fetched we need to put the loop onto them uh, them only first to last or last to first it totally depends on your requirement we'll be choosing first to last okay done so after this what we'll be doing uh, now you can see that there is a loop which has been created there are two sections for each that means it will be the iterative part and after last, like whenever the last record will be there, whatever the execution will be there, it will be executing here. Okay. Now what we need to do for all the records, we need to send the notification to the owner. So we will be putting this and we will be choosing action. So here is the first option. We will be choosing that. In this action, we will be using custom notification okay so as you will be going for custom notification there are uh, different different options which are there uh, first is custom notification type id not notification body uh, notification title and recipients id okay so first we need to fetch out the custom notification id notification body title and recipients id okay so for that what we need to do first we need to uh, fetch out all the custom notifications okay so for fetching it out first we need to create the custom notification so we need to go to the setup part again and in setup part you need to search for custom notification okay so first you need to create a custom notification here we are and you need to create new and uh, you'll be giving opportunity notification okay so this is the and you want to give this notification on both the channels desktop and mobile so yes save so i have created this now that was asking the notification id so here we are not getting the notification id so we what we will be doing we again you uh, we again need to get the records and now we need to uh, get notification type okay so it's notification then you need to so uh, have the object so there is an object which is named as an custom notification okay so i'll be searching for that and uh, if you know the api name you can search with the api name right now i am not putting any condition because i am only having one record how many records to store only first record because i am only having the first record automatically store all fields and done so i have what i have done i have just taken the notification type and i have stored it in the variable so that i can use that in the notification part right now what i'll do again uh, the next thing was the recipient id that who will be receiving those uh, notification okay so for that what i'll be doing i'll be creating a new resource and in this new resource i'll be creating a variable that will be named as an user record ids like user record id means to whom you will be sending those uh, notification right so the data type will be what data type will be kind of a text because we only need to save the record id and it will be having multiple record ids okay so we will be putting done now one by one we will be adding those record ids into that user uh, record id variable that we have created so for that we will be putting assignment now uh, 
will be giving a sign value now initially what we will be doing we will be just uh, removing all the things from this user record id basically we are initializing with null again and then after that we will be putting user record id will be in which it will be adding the whatever the records which are coming from the loop the owner id of that so owner id so one uh, again and again the owner id will be put it into this user record id and done this we have done now what we need to do we need to again go to that action part in action again we need to go send custom notification uh, send notification to user so we have done this description if you want to now notification type id so from where you need to get that if you remember that we have fetched out this custom notification type you need to go to that and you need to search for id so here is the custom notification type id that you need to give that which notification will be sent here is the notification body uh, earlier i've told you how to make that uh, body customize according to the record right now i am giving the hard coded value that is hello uh, there is a record okay so uh, record close date is near so i'm just get, uh, doing it hard coded because earlier in the earlier video we have discussed about that how to make it dynamic so you can go through with that now recipients id for recipients id we have created one variable that is user record id so we'll be choosing this and that's it okay so uh, we have done this thing now there are uh, three more things sender id target id and target page reference sender id is not compulsory uh, but you need to give one thing uh, from the target id or target page reference id so what i'll do i'll include this target id and in this target id what i'll do, uh, uh, what i'll give i'll take out the loop and i'll take out the id from this opportunity okay so that uh, whenever uh, someone will be clicking on to the notification they will be redirected to that record okay so done so this is what we have done this will all these are the all things which we will be needing for this particular flow and once all the records are over it will be going after last and it will be ending that flow okay so now i'll save it and then opportunity notification and save okay so we have saved it uh, there is a warning uh, why there is a warning because we haven't sent set the default user in our org uh, so if you will be setting the default user in your org then it will be uh, not there okay so it will be saved now now uh, i'll show you how it will be working i can't show you practically because uh, we have set it that it will be executing at 11 pm so what i'll do i'll just show you it in the debug that how it will be working so run and um, let's see okay so how uh, the interview started automated process started flow interview this all the information and get records so find all opportunities which having the close date and it failed to find the records because we do not have any opportunities right now which will be having the close date as in 14th of july so for that what we will be doing we will be going for the opportunity object and we'll create one record which will be having a close date as in 14th of july because then only it will be sending the notification right so close date as in 14th of july and i'm giving testing opp right stage is prospecting and save so now we are having one opportunity which is which will be having a close date as in 14th of july so we'll just go to again we'll again debug this and run okay so how interview started all the details will be there get records now you can see that find all opportunities which will be having close date as in 14th of july and it has found the records as well okay so then it will be executing custom record type uh, the custom notification type it has found that as well now loop is iterating and it is putting null and once it will be adding the user id and send notification has been sent and loop has been ended that means that particular user has got the notification whosoever is the owner of that 
opportunity okay so let's see who is the owner of that opportunity this user and this user i am currently signed in with okay so you can see there is a bell icon on to the right hand side and if i click on to that you can see i am uh, there is a notification that record close date is near hello there is a record okay so if i click on to that record automatically it will be taking me to this testing opp opportunity okay so this is how you will be creating a flow now this flow will be executing daily on the daily basis on at particular time that is 11 pm i hope now you got the clear understanding of scheduled triggered flow and if you are enjoying the salesforce flow series please do let us know in the comment box